pushing snow out of the way and that's all I can ask for. Okay, so what do I think of the plow? Well, it's working. I made a few modifications to it. I kicked the one corner a little further out on the leading edge and kind of wedged it in there with some firewood just to hold it out. Uh, I got strapped down with a chain and a binder now, so that's kind of holding in place. Um, I'm grinding through a little bit of the bottom side of my chain just because I don't have any D-rings welded on the side of my bucket, which I need to do, but overall, pushing snow out of the way and that's all I can ask for. So, snow plow for the win. That's a six by six beam. There's probably at least a foot up there. Well, hello. I've been uh, plowing almost every single day coming home. And uh, just want to kind of give you guys an update on uh, our little snow plow, how it's holding up, where it's not holding up, and a few mods that I've had to make to it. So I'll kind of show you guys what we got going on and uh, where I'd like to make some improvements in the future. Well, as you can see, we've got, this is the underside of the plow here, and we have a bunch of snow that's been building up underneath of there. And uh, I'm having trouble getting that plow low enough to keep that from piling up inside of the bucket and packing in there. Uh, so when I make snow plow 2.0, I think I'll actually have it uh, go over and then wrap back under the teeth uh, just to uh, keep it from uh, piling in and then trying to raise it up out of the bucket. Well, that's not good. That looked like a life flight helicopter buzzing by. Somebody probably got hurt up on the mountain or something.
All right, we got the plow kind of cleaned up here. I'm gonna flip it over and put it back in the bucket. Um, somehow or another, our two by four frame has been holding together, even though it's uh, uh, not the sturdiest. So I think uh, when I get around to building another one of these, I'm gonna probably do it all out of metal. But for now, this thing works fine. So by far and away, this is the biggest area where I missed with my estimates here and that was with the angle of the plow so i didn't have a very steep angle on this thing when i built it i uh, built it flush with the teeth and then kind of uh, raked out uh, the one side just to kind of fan it out well <clears throat> it wasn't enough to uh, cast stuff off to the side and so what i've actually done is i've taken this uh, the smaller end and i've kicked it out a little bit further I'm just stuffing a bunch of blocks of wood in behind it to kind of hold it in place here. All right, next thing I would change. I have this just mild steel bar that's running along. And uh, let's just say it uh, took a beating. And I didn't have bracing all, all the way down to the edges on that. So uh, that's something that uh, I would definitely adjust and uh, make some changes to uh, on the next one. I figured that that might be strong enough to hold up, uh, but uh, when you're plowing over top of four inch minus, you're bound to hit a rock here and there, so. One of the other big problems I'm having with this is keeping it strapped down. And so I'm, I've been running underneath, uh, running a chain through and kind of clamping, just looping under the teeth and clamping down. Uh, and that's working all right. I am rubbing a little bit through my chain here, so that's not a good solution permanently. But I think what I'll probably end up doing is uh, either welding or uh, putting some sort of uh, a D-ring on here, which I need to do anyways. So if I put a D-ring down towards the bottom of that bucket, uh, actually I need to put a few D-rings on this thing uh, because I'm always looking for something to strap to and I never have a good spot. So uh, putting some more attachment points so I can uh, kind of strap this thing down in there would uh, be a huge plus. All right, we got our strap down good just like i said looped over the teeth and chain binder in the middle to kind of hold the pot sides together and then a ratchet strap over the back uh, down to our little ears here so it's pretty solid you know i'm i'm moving the tractor so um uh, it's pretty stout it'll stay in there pretty well uh, just with those two attachment points um, but obviously I need to do a little tweaking. Overall, I think those are the biggest things that I would change is a you know, different tin, um, bracing at the edges and uh, a better angle off of the front of this plow. But uh, you know what? It's gonna get us in and out the driveway this winter. So I'm gonna strap her back down and we'll keep running her. <laughs> and uh, next year I'll do something different.